Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 3rd, 2023. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Hope you all had a great rest because we have another crazy day ahead of us. Holy moly, did we get excited yesterday, just really ripping to the upside here. Probably got a little bit too far ahead of ourselves and we'll either get a substantial pullback or a longer consolidation as a result. That doesn't mean it has to happen today. Um, first off this morning, we have Asian markets that were strong across the board last night. Uh, even Shanghai put in um, a small gain last night. Um, Hong Kong was up two uh, and a half percent last night and the Nikkei was up 1.10% last night. Just a really strong um, market pushing to the upside. Um, even um, Australia had a really strong day um, overnight as a reaction to what we did here yesterday. Um, European markets this morning are trying to continue the follow through with their bullish day. They've had a really good week over there. Um, and trying to move uh, move a little bit further this morning. We've got just a little bit of a mix. The CAC is just slightly lower this morning. When we take a look at oil this morning, boy, we had a big surge in oil, but this morning we've got a little bit of a mix going on here in oil. It's a little bit on the flat side, kind of taking a break here, but we've got natural gas higher. And when it comes to bonds, bonds have been in a tremendous slide. It's just all of a sudden we flipped a switch and decided that uh, we went from everything was bad to everything is good and bonds collapsed hard yesterday bond yields anyway and um, we are seeing um, the two-year bond is rallying this morning moving back up just ever so slightly at 2.99 percent as we head into today's jobs data so that's kind of a, a, a mix of what happened last night. So how about we take a look at what's happening for today. Let's settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Well yesterday um, we just had quite a day so how about we try to shake off that uh, bias for the market. Let's take a really close look at these charts and see if we can um, decide how we might want to approach the market for today. Well first off one of the things to notice here in the diamonds, um, I checked the data, uh, the, the Dow itself. We're up over 1400 points since Friday's close. Um, pretty amazing um, bounce back. But one of the things that we're seeing is this big stretch that's begun to happen. And once when we start doing that, we, we went from man, everything's bad to pretty euphoric in the market. We have to start thinking about the possibility that a, any kind of data that disappoints, uh, perhaps Apple, um, could um, bring us back to a little bit of reality and we might get any kind of a, a resting period here. Notice over here in this chart where we surged big time, just a big surge um, out of that bottom. And then we ended up doing a longer term protracted pullback. Now this is a bigger rally than what we're seeing here, but we could easily see more of a, a longer term consolidation or more of a pullback here in the chart just to relieve that pressure. And you can just imagine that everybody that rushed into the market this week to the upside, if we start to see some selling, we could quickly see them run for the door as well to protect um, any profits um, to, to get 
get out of the way. Now that doesn't mean it has to happen today. So looking at the charts, if the bulls can continue to find upside inspiration, well, let's look right up in here. We could come right up into this major resistance area of the chart and we could test this downtrend. Notice we broke through this one here, just sliced right through it like it wasn't even there yesterday and pushed right up here into that bigger downtrend and probably the more important downtrend in the chart. So we'll want to be watching this zone up here and it doesn't mean we can't even push through this. We could uh, push right through that level and come right on up into here and, and find resistance there. So watch that pretty carefully here. This is a, a significant level and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see um, us test that and then maybe back off a little bit and rest for a while. So watch that close. But if the bears were to come up with some inspiration today, then we look for that possible pushback. We could come right back down here testing this support pretty quickly, or we can come all the way back down here and we can test this uh, trend break as a area of support. And there may be a little bit of price evidence in there that could give us that as well. If we go beyond that, then we're really falling into the gap here and we could have a full reversal here on yesterday's move. I don't expect that to happen today, but you just never know. You've got to plan for any circumstance here in this wild and crazy market that we're in. If we take a look at our moving averages, you can see we pushed up here Here's another reason why we might just catch a little bit of breath here. The bulls have to stop and breathe for a little bit. Um, been running up this mountain pretty quickly. And we've got a 250 day moving average right here. That 50 day is about to cross down through that 200 day. So watch that pretty carefully here. Um, there's a This is a big zone of resistance and we may just um, rest or pull back here a little bit. Um, yeah wouldn't be a big surprise if that were the case. So be careful chasing in. As a matter of fact, I would say, well, for me, yesterday was a day to take profits um, um, to the upside. It was just, you know, grabbing some profits. And then I also put on some potential short trades and just for um, some resting pullback here. If we take a look at um, our SPY, SPY, also stretching big time here to the upside with that giant gap coming up here testing this downtrend breaking through it just ever so slightly so if the bulls uh, continue to find that inspiration here today well let's see if they can push just a little bit higher you'll notice that there is a little bit of a level that goes right through there in that chart kind of stretches over here um, it's not a strong level but if we can push up into that that would be awesome if we can push a little bit higher we start coming into the underneath side of this resistance in the chart and then maybe even right on up to this uh, major resistance up here as we approach the downtrend. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, then a little pullback to maybe test this area of support, test this downtrend. A failure through there could move us down uh, easily to um, yesterday's opening low um, if we drop down through there and then after that we could even sink into the gap so just be careful that could be a pretty substantial pullback if the bears really pick up here not saying that they will but that possibility does exist if we take a look at our moving averages here you can see this big stretch we're still below our 50-day moving average so it's possible we could stretch up here and test that 50-day in this resistance area in the chart um, just watch carefully carefully for that. But after such a big rally to the upside, don't be too surprised if we have to rest or at a minimum consolidate um, around this level. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ had a huge day yesterday, um, just gapping big. We, we just had such a struggle getting this going and then um, man, all of a sudden, everybody piled into the NASDAQ hard yesterday. And as you can see, gapping up, continuing to move um, through this resistance area in the chart. So if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration, let's see if they can push on higher here, push on up. And there's, there's a, you know, little tiny levels through here, nothing major, but um, that possibility that we could come up into that downtrend here. Um, we want to be watching 
for that. If the bears were to find some inspiration here today and we were to slip back below that area and notice that it really wouldn't be all that hard to see that possibility that um, we can push back and break that opening um, uh, move yesterday and then slip into this gap for a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback in the market. So just watch carefully for that. I would not rule out the possibility, even that we don't pull back at all, that we just consolidate. And we see that a lot after uh, big runs in the market. We we had this big run up here and then we pulled back and then we spent quite a bit of time in just this choppy zone. So that's normal price action in the market. We're going to have to absorb this big move. Then if we take a look at the moving averages here on the NASDAQ, we pushed up there kissing that 50 day moving average. Um, uh, obviously the Apple report disappointing here and that may provide a little bit of that bearish energy this morning. Um, you can see we're um, showing a little bit of a gap down here on the QQQ this morning. We'll see if that follows through or not as we progress into this morning's data. Then um, we'll take a look at our IWM. IWM had a great day yesterday and this was really nice to see. Boy, it, it had lagged behind, lagged behind, lagged behind for so long. There was just no inspiration here because it has no tech stocks in it. And um, finally pushed up here and triggered um, our trend line here and our major resistance area. We just peaked right above in there and we're trying to follow through here this morning to the upside. That's going to be um, pretty important if we can break back through this resistance. So if the bulls can hold on and push through that level up here, well, let's start looking. We've got some areas in the chart, maybe right through here to provide some resistance for that upside. Watch carefully for that. If the bear or to find inspiration and this comes back down um, watch that carefully just breaking this trend we can kind of slide out here a little bit and hold on to that trend if we were to fall back below the low of that candle then I could see that potential of a gap fill here tomorrow and that's one of the problems when we zoom uh, like this with all this emotion in the market we can leave some big open holes that have to be filled and um, it can be kind of painful um, uh, to come back and, and fill those. Another thing to be paying attention to is just notice that above this area here, we have spent an awful lot of time um, in this area um, just in real choppy consolidation. So it is entirely possible we could spend quite a bit of time here resting, coming out here to this longer trend and then seeing whether we can push on through. So watch carefully for those possibilities. And again, moving averages here, technicals in this chart are pathetic. Um, uh, they're, they're, we got a lot of work here on the Russell before we start to say, hey, wow, we're really bullish in the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX just collapsed hard yesterday, and that's really what we needed to see to relieve that pressure. I think we kind of got it carried away um, uh, with emotion here, but we dropped hard here in the VIX. We're down here around uh, 15, 16 handles in the VIX. We broke the trend, so that is a good sign for uh, the market relieving some of that pressure. So if the bulls can continue to follow through today, let's look to see if they can push this on down and maybe test some of these levels around the 14 handle area here in the chart. If the bears were to um, engage here and a little bit of a lift come back up, maybe we come back above this area and we just rest in here for a bit. Um, so watch carefully there on the VIX. Our uh, T2122s is uh, close to a problem here. We went from oversold to almost completely overbought and one fell so just boom um, yesterday so straight up moves like that um, when we move that strongly oftentimes we have a very difficult time holding that elevation and we've seen that before where we stretch up there and then just completely turn it around now i'm hoping we don't turn it around and go all the way back down and if if we get some bullish data today we still have 
some upside that we can go here. So there's no reason to believe that we can't can continue to go up and then just be full on into the bearish reversal zone up here in T2122. And we'd be looking for a little bit of a resting pullback maybe next week. Now, if you um, also take a look at this, well, we have stretched so far that if we find anything bearish in the market in that pause, you could really see a lot of folks running for the door. Remember, last Friday, everyone was running for the door with the worries and fears of, of the uh, Middle Eastern War. That's not getting better. It's getting worse. And so that possibility exists as well, that suddenly we're going to realize that, wait a minute, there's we still have this major problem over there. And uh, people start selling, uh, uh, you know, racking up those weekly gains um, and getting out of the way just in case we do pull back. And we've opened up a big opportunity for that to exist. Let's take a look at our uh, T2108. Now, T2108 did a really great job yesterday. Not only did we take off here, but we took off hard, breaking through this resistance in the chart, really stretching, breaking that downtrend here in the chart. So now what we wanna watch is these next resistance levels up here, if the bulls can continue to follow through. If we do find the bears um, re-engage, what we wanna see is that pullback in here where we hold, hold that trend break, hold that uh, support area in the chart. We don't wanna see this just completely reverse and slip all the way back down. That would probably raise fear pretty substantially in the market. So watch that closely, but really nice job. 39% um, of the stocks um, above their 40 day. Our uh, T2107, same thing, nice stretch to the upside but you know as we've been seeing in in uh, you know the Russell here the small caps been struggling a lot so when you look at the percentage of stocks above the 200 day yeah you know not so great um, we pushed up here we're getting uh, well 33 34 percent of the stocks we're coming into a pretty major area of price resistance and just notice that we're just barely sneaking out from underneath that little downtrend here so if the bulls can continue to push maybe we can pop up through there and um, re continue to relieve some of that pressure. But we do have to recognize the fact that we could run into a little bit of resistance in here, maybe and maybe just rest, not necessarily pull back, but maybe just kind of rest and chop here in the market. Um, a pullback here, um, if it got strong, that would be really disappointing and um, we could see some panic come in. But um, still, you know, uh, internally, this was a good day yesterday. Now we just need to prove that we can hold it and maybe we just have to rest a little bit to consolidate and, and uh, make sure that that level, the, that bullishness does hold in the market. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, this was a good sign yesterday. Whoops. This was a good sign yesterday as well. We did see the breadth of the market pick up on the buying. So as we bought, you can see we did turn and pick up. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up strong enough to really give me confidence that we're ready to, on the buy wave, break through that area, continuing to push this market higher. I think we probably went too far too fast and um, there's a good chance we could see that breadth starting to fall off here. Uh, folks starting to think maybe I'll take some profits, get out of the way. Um, still fingers crossed that we, we follow through on a Friday and, and get some more rally here in the market, which is definitely possible. But watch that breadth here. Um, unfortunately, the buy side um, was nowhere near the sell side, um, at least yet. So watch carefully here on T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things to be paying attention to here in the market. Um, first off, we're going to get the Fed is now beyond its meeting. And so we're going to start hearing from all of the Fed members out there talking it up again. And I would not be surprised with such a big response yesterday that we kind of hear um, Fed members talking uh, talking things down a little bit, talking a little bit more hawkish. Because remember, as we push like this in the market, we're relieving all of the pressures that are reducing inflation by doing.
doing this. And so we could really see those Fed members come out and start uh, trying to uh, tamp that enthusiasm down here just a little bit. So don't be surprised if that occurs. And then we've got that employment situation number out here today. Um, obviously, jobs numbers have been a little bit problematic for us. Uh, maybe we can start seeing those um, uh, job numbers uh, sink here just a little bit or and, and that would help us out. So this is one of those things where bad news is good news for the market and good news is bad news for the market. So keep an eye on that this morning. We've got a PMI and ISM services, Baker Hughes rig, which no one's going to care about, but um, that, that will wrap up our week. Um, on the earnings side of things, since today is a no blog Friday, um, I put together the earnings list. You can take a look at it right here. These are the notables for today that you'll want to be um, uh, paying attention to. You can um, take a screenshot of that if you like. Uh, pause the video, take a screenshot. Those are our notables for today. Obviously, we've got a few, but we don't have anything in here that's really going to move the market dramatically. I don't think. So um, just keep an eye on that big rest here today um, as far as earnings events. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find them to be useful, helpful to your day, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, even an emoji helps. Um, thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that i really appreciate it for those of you that share the videos out there big shout out to you thank you so much for the help um, in um, helping the channel grow so thank you um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security make sure you're doing your own due diligence you're being very very careful here in the market one of the things you don't want to do is blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas follow your rules follow your guidelines for your trading and make those decisions carefully because we'd certainly have a wild market to deal with. First off, I'm going to mention um, old Mickey D's here. As you guys remember, I've got a little bias on this because I picked up a position in here, but uh, Mickey D is continuing to work coming up out of this bottom. And this is going to be a theme that you're going to see if we're going to be bullish in this market. There's a lot of stocks coming out of, up out of bottoms. You want to start watching for those because boy you can get some nice gains out of those mickey d is performing really really well moving up toward this bigger downtrend just watch that close um pretty nice chart take a look at um starbucks starbucks <coughs> reported huge numbers the other day and now they're <coughs> They put out news that they're going to expand locations dramatically here. Um, so watch Starbucks now with this big popping move. Any kind of rest consolidation pullback in here would then set up that opportunity to the upside. And that's fairly typical when you gap like this. You have to back up. You've got to consolidate a little bit. You've got to rest. But then you've really got some upside opportunity there in that chart. So keep a close eye on that. Take a look at um, Kohl's. Whoops. Um, Kohl's just been rocketing here to the upside. Mentioned this one yesterday, and you can see just popping on through, stretching on up here to the upside. Some retail really starting to pick up here, and, and, and it's more in the discount retail. You'll want to watch Kohl's. It's approaching a pretty substantial resistance level, as you can see here in the chart. But you can look at other places like um, Dollar General. Dollar General still in that potential setup here. I don't know where this trend is going to begin. We started here, popped up through, but now we're just kind of slipping back into this support area. So watch that carefully. Things like Dollar General, Five Below, Dollar Tree. Um, a lot of those have been uh, looking really good. Um, 
um, if you want to see stocks that are just continuing to show lots of um, tenacity to hold in here, we've got a little W formation on um, TJ Maxx trying to hold. So there's your little W formation. If that can pop through that resistance up here and hold, there may be some opportunities there in TJ Maxx. And we've been seeing, you know, Walmart just really stretching and, and uh, you know, just pounding its head against that resistance up here, trying to see if it can break on through. Earnings coming on the 16th, so watch that close. Moving um, in this um, rather steep upside trend, it may have to rest here now as we wait for those earnings, but keep a close eye on that. Walmart's been really, really strong overall. Take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks. Um, sometimes these guys they kind of sneak around and they and they finally start coming up we have just hated on them forever everybody's been piling into tech and pretty much tech only but we're still going to need these companies and as you can see campbell soup starting to put in a break of that downtrend hold of the higher low pushing up here toward its 50-day moving average you want to watch this because this is a pattern one of our favorite patterns to trade is called the round of bottom breakout and that pops through holds and then we look for that move up toward the 200-day moving average. So keep an eye on Camel Soup. You could take a look. Um, GIS, one of the members of the room, uh, uh, trading room yesterday, brought this to my attention. What a beautiful chart here in GIS pushing up. Nice little upside trend breaking through that 50. This is exactly what we want to see holding in on that 50. Notice that that 50 day moving average is just ever so slightly starting to turn. That's what we want to see here showing nice support in this area. GIS may have that opportunity to make start making that way back up here toward that 200 day moving average. Nice little pattern here to be paying attention to. Um, you could take a look at <clears throat> K, K um, uh, this used to be the old Kellogg's, doing the same kind of pattern, trying to move back up. Notice though, we're not through our 50 day moving average um, or even close to that. But as we push this through in this area, this is that bottoming uh, pattern formation. We start to sneak out through that downtrend. We look for that next opportunity and then we stretch up to the 50 and then we make those progressive moves to the upside. Another area of the market that's been pretty darn interesting here is in utilities. Um, take a look at um, XLU. Utilities have been coming up strongly here recently and pushing up through that 50 day moving average um, yesterday. So watch that carefully. If we hold up here in, in the, that area, we can move on through to the upside. And what I would probably do here in TC2000, it's really easy. You just click one icon and now I can take a look, look at everything in that um, um, ETF. And you can see there are some really um, good looking stocks starting to come up out of these bottoms. And obviously utilities is always something we're going to need. So we break these downtrends, push through those 50s, hold higher lows, move on up. Now I, I know these aren't as sexy as, as the big techs, but they are um, good solid earners. So watch that out there. You know, we're still gonna need utilities. So keep a close eye on that. Um, so with that, guys, I'm running this video a little bit long. Um, I would also be keeping an eye on some of those precious metals out there. Um, if the dollar is going to fall, um, we're likely going to um, see the uh, precious metals moving to the upside. And we had that nice little pullback in, T, uh, in U, uh, UP. We also saw a pretty good bounce in TLT yesterday as those bonds um, bond yields came down. So watch that carefully. We could be setting up uh, that opportunity here where we break that downtrend, hold in here, and then we could even kick off a pretty decent short squeeze in here if the dollar is going to fall and those bond yields are gonna come down. So watch that carefully. And then look at um, gold. Gold is holding in here nicely and silver um, also holding in here pretty nicely. Had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but this is quite an inverted head and shoulders pattern. If it can deal with all of this moving average congestion in here and pop on through, <clears throat> 
there's some opportunities that could be setting up there. So keep an eye on that. Everyone have a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best in profits and, and your trading today and uh, wish you and your family a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for being here this week. I appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great day, everyone.